Uh, in this video, I will talk about um, how to respect people's time while you still have the space to turn things around and uh, yeah, make sure that uh, the session is, is experienced as being very fruitful and productive for everyone. Um, so first of all, when you announce your session or meeting, uh, of course, it's great that you set a time. Um, and a nice tip is maybe to use a time uh, frame that's a little bit extraordinary. So for example, 11.54 or 11.59. So people are like, whoa, this is, this is strange. So we really have to be, you know, before 12, we have to be there, for example. So this is one little tip uh, that works for a lot of people uh, getting meetings uh, and, and participants in on time. Uh, do start on time, you know, people that are late, it's, um, yeah, it's their responsibility, they know in advance uh, that you would start on 11.59, so uh, make sure you start and not neglect uh, the others. Um, and, uh, and another tip is that um, if your session is running late, um, that is not per se a terrible thing. I'm a very terrible timekeeper <laughs> myself, so I really had to train myself to be open about it, you know, not keep it for myself when I see we're running out of time. So what I do as of today is that just saying it out like, well, whoops, we have 15 minutes left or 30 minutes left or even before the break, we are a little bit out of time. Um, and then open it up for people. What shall we do? Shall we just focus on, uh, on this part that we are handling right now? Or shall, do, shall we move on to the next topic? So engage your people uh, in it. Um, and a funny thing is a little anecdote. Once I provide the session of, of 20 minutes in one of the co-work spaces where I would engage entrepreneurs and uh, unlock their positive mindset and, uh, and supportive work and create a supportive work environment for their business to grow. And uh, there was one participant that came up to me and he said, yes, I really love your sessions, but they always last longer than 20 minutes. You know, it's always 30 or 40. And he was actually right because often it did, um, yeah, turned out to be a longer session because everyone loved it so much and everyone was engaged. So from that moment on, I thought, okay, I will just mention uh, when 17 minutes are passed and then it's up to him to leave or not. So I did that the exact uh, same day and I ring the bell like there's 17 minutes left for people that want to leave, feel free. Uh, if people still want to continue, also feel invited, etc. So in the end, he stayed because he had a really good conversation with one of the other entrepreneurs and they figured that they had complementary resources so they could really help each other. And from that moment, his priorities um, swapped. So this person he was engaged with and talked to was more important than, uh, than his uh, schedule. Um, of course, it took more time, uh, uh, more of my agenda, more of my time. But for me, it was okay as a host of that session. I rather contribute a little bit more time uh, than uh, stop the session after 20 minutes exactly. So it's also up to you, you know, how much time do you want to extra invest in a workshop or not. However, if you really want to stick with the time, be open on forehand, say you're running late. Um, we have to kind of cooker pressure things, which is fine. We can have another session or I can send you material after the session or we can have another Skype call or uh, solve it like that. There's a lot of ways uh, how to do that. So uh, I wish you a lot of luck with, uh, with respecting time and then getting uh, and creating more leaders in your workshop. And um, please leave a comment to stay engaged, uh, like, uh, like our page uh, or share it. Or what? <laughs> or <laughs> follow us. <laughs>